Hi, I'm Abhinandan Singh and I'm from Jalandhar, Punjab. I graduated from IIT BHU Varanasi and have been teaching physics for the past six years. I've always been a very keen observer of everything around us, every phenomenon, everything we do. Let's take a very simple concept of physics, for example, mass. Where would our physics be if the mass was not defined the way it is? Or as a result, where the human generation would be if the mass was not defined the way it is? Stories of discoveries, stories of failures, stories of win, the perspective of greats, greats like Richard Feynman, Linus Pauling, they give me a very positive impetus to learn physics. They not only motivate me to think in a curious way, but to ask the question why something happens. Why something happens rather than just taking it for the face value. Let me draw an analogy to clue you in what I'm talking about. For example, let's consider a type of art. Let's say a painting. There is a specific method, a specific set of steps that the artist needs before approaching the canvas. The first question should be, what am I going to paint? And how am I going to paint? And why am I going to paint what I'm going to paint? Once this how, why, and what is figured out, the next question would be, am I capable enough to do that? And if I'm not able to do that, I'll practice and I'll work hard to achieve the same. And slowly, the art will start taking shape. To me, physics gives me this joy of getting involved in the process. The joy of demystifying the nature of the nature is an ultimate bliss. I can say this with conviction because it comes from within, from personal experiences. And I can paint well too. Understanding science and art goes hand in hand. Art helps us to see what is going on in the world and science helps us explain it. And remember, there's a big difference between knowing something and understanding something. I wish to see my students challenge their own limitations, push their boundaries, ask the question why, how and what at each and every step of learning and ultimately give back to the society. I aim to nurture this curiosity in each and every student of mine through the way I teach. At Philo as an academic expert, I have a whole team of subject matter experts, thereby making a whole ecosystem of individuals who will help students fall in love with science. I am kicked about how this coming year is going to turn out. At Philo, we are aiming for disproportionate impact. We are trying to change the way we teach one step at a time, one session at a time. So, the next time you face any problem, ask Philo.